<laughs> Look at my cold, slithering body and killer yellow eyes. I'm a venomous little assassin, feared by all. Ah, oh, time to wake up. I better return to reality. Actually, I'm just a non-venomous petite. A manable and homely snake, the Paris Ataya. My somewhat blunt snout and concave upper lip makes me look cute and bulky. That's why I'm also called a blunt headed snake. As reptiles, we are usually low key and hidden. We hide and sleep in cool places during the day and only come out at night. I've slept all day. It's time to find some grub. Hey, 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 wait! What are you doing? Ouch! And leave me alone! I'm very gentle. I don't hurt anyone. Oh, luckily, it's just a researcher. It's thanks to them that I got my Paris Ataya name and made international headlines by becoming the first local snake species named by Taiwanese researchers. According to my great-great-great-grandfather, the family Periade has three major genera. Japanese academics confused us with Paris Formosensis and Paris Komai. It was only after repeated field research that Taiwanese researchers discovered subtle differences between the three genera. No similar in body length, we Paris Ataya have longer heads while Paris Formosensis have shorter heads. What's more, they have orangey red eyes. Paris Komai and Earth are hard to tell apart because they have yellow eyes too. The differences lies in the scales. The scales of Paris Komai have protruding ridges. The scales of Paris Formosensis are completely smooth, while the rich scales we have fall between the two. All that talking, I'm starving. Wait, I think I found some prey. That's right! Not all snakes like eating rats and frogs. We simply adopt snails. Time for dinner, I'm digging in. Mmm, delicious! My teeth are my secret weapon to getting around a snail's shell. As 90% of snail shells rotate clockwise, most parrots have evolved with asymmetrical jaws. We have around 11 teeth on the left side, but around 20 on the right. What's the benefit of this? When eating snails, we flip the shell around so the left side of my lower jaw with fewer teeth can clamp onto the snail's slippery body, while the right side with more teeth firmly holds the snail in place. Tugging left and right enables us to drag the snail out of its shell. Watch me clean this out. Hey, wait. Hang on. This snail looks different. How can I eat it if I can't find anywhere to bite? 
Don't act like you caught me lying. It's called co-evolution in nature, okay? After evolving into clockwise rotation snail killers, some snails evolved anti-clockwise shells to avoid our capture. So anti-clockwise snails aren't afraid of us. No problem. You can't keep a good snake down. Let me try again. Huh? Slugs! Snails without shells always go for the easier option. Bon appetit!